The 2023 campaign begins. Jordan Smith on the return inside his spine. Has a crease, finds some space, and then stood up just past the 20 yard line. Brown hands it off, and there's Martin. Rather, or Mulligan, and Mulligan on his way into the end zone. First touchdown of the season for Jackson State. It's only 90 seconds to find daylight for Irv Mulligan, who springs it for 46 yards. Tigers strike first. Saying we got some new faces, yeah, but we got some talented dudes that can get it done. Jordan Smith received it. And he's got some space, and he's not good. Now let's go back to that play, Jay, of how. When you get a team like this down early, you have to lead by more than just one score, one possession. Mulligan, who had that 46-yard run for a touchdown, still on his feet. Pass the 30. And what we're seeing from Mulligan is the ability to stay patient and then accelerate. Brown feels the pressure, somehow still stays on the feet. And is wrapped up by Patrick Goffold, a preseason First team, all MEAC selection, and knows what to do in these situations. Good job. This is what you talk about the motor. Beats his man one-on-one, -on -one, goes for the strip sack, doesn't get it, but continues to pursue the football. Jackie Slater. Oh, yeah, he cleared the way for sweetness back in the day. And that one complete into the fumble. hands of Duke Miller. Oh, boy! The fumble, and South Carolina State says they come up with it, and they have. Defense have been on the field for a while, and able to come over and punch the football away from the receiver was Adonis, Adonis Davis. Davis. Oh, they needed that in the major way. And keeps going back to what I said earlier. Jackson State's playing too well to only be leading by seven. South Carolina State, an important third and three to start here. And oh, Corey Fields felt the pressure of Isaac Peppers. And Peppers brings him down with the sack. And Corey Fields, you have to make a better decision. Get rid of the football. The linebacker has a beat on you. Get rid of the football. From the 41-yard line of Jackson State. Here's Martin once again, finding a little crease. And oh! Touchdown there. Tackle there by Jalen Evans as Evans trying to get to the speedy Martin. Having their way with South Carolina State. Too easy. Way too easy as Jensen Riley Puts on some moves and he's into the end zone. Another score for Jackson State. Find a way to change it up, but as a quarterback, it gets no easier than this. Here, you take it, and the rest is all done by the tight end Riley. Going to the house. Of success. And third and four. We have the adult at quarterback. Grown man decision, throw and catch to Keyshawn Tony. The middle laps right there. Jason Brown once again looking downfield, down the seam, and the pass is complete to Rico Powers. First catch of the season for Powers into Bulldog territory. He got him in the chase position. Watch how soon you see Bradley in the chase position. Head down, got to catch up to him. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Mulligan on the carry, patiently running and still on his feet. He's one of those guys who has a low center of gravity, tough to bring down, and he powers them into the red zone. First man's not going to bring him down. You know, unless you have a square hit on him, he's able to shift his body weight, get that forward lean, and run through tackles. As we mentioned before, transfer the silent boom in the south one as well. Yes, and the Jackson State fans. See, uh, these rookies, Tiff. They don't know how much slack they're going to get. You don't know how <laughs> fast this Rico Powers kid is. The redshirt junior out of Savannah as we send it back down to Quint. Athlete like a Rico Powers who puts in work for conditioning. But you can't forget about the band. On second and six. And there's the pressure brought down by Patrick Godbo. And they need to see yes. more of that from their graduate to pressure the quarterback. We know that Brown's a pocket passer. When you're one-on-one -on -one matchups there, good job going underneath Cameron James. Got the pad level down. 
Oh man, all that great math you learned at Howard University on fourth and two, Jay Walker. On ground, 16 of 18, has a man wide open in the end zone. Finds another tight end. This time it's DJ Stevens. A uh, two level throw. First read in front of you, that's covered. Get your head up to the second level and you see your open receipt. Call that the money down on offense. It's got to be the money down, get off the field down on defense. Pushing the pile forward, wrapped up as we send it down to Harry. And Pugh, a former all mac offensive lineman, needs to see more from his group in the second half. Four for ten on third down conversions, and they're a good sign as the pass complete to Jordan Smith to move the chains. Keeping his vision down the field, able to get to his second, third, sometimes fourth read. Picking him apart. Oh my goodness, and right now, you talk about picking him apart, the Tigers dicing their way into the end zone once more 44 yards after that catch and run from Andre Hunt this fella they like to say after a night like this he ain't finishing it off Hunt yeah I don't know I just do what I do appreciate that Ken <laughs> Corey Fields into the hands of Tim Stewart. The hard hitter from Jackson State and nothing going the way. But it also shows you the confidence he has in his quarterback to make that cross field throw. Florida Beza, the 27 yard attempt is good as we sit it to the studio and kept what this first season is gonna look like for his squad out in Boulder. And on the run is Andre Washington across midfield. That's what he's known for, a running QB, big frame. Nick, yeah, uh, uh, I'm just going to leave that right there. I think it's just <laughs> safe to do that. And like we always do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's called Jays, give me five. Big names, big stars, big time to shine this season. 38-yard field goal is good. Atlanta native. Georgia State grad. Mm -hmm. And then. Not about me tonight. This is about these two great teams that we've got here, but it feels great to be doing a game in a stadium that I literally grew up in. Spinning off of tackles is Tyler Smith, a freshman out of Gaffney, South Carolina. Nice burst there. It's to go in those Cricket Neak swag challenge. There has never been a shutout in this. They want to get on the board, but throws like that nearly. Negate that as Corey Fields has to make a question of which team has gained the most national attention recently to get hot. Corey Fields slithering right there. And so, not sure if these South Carolina State Bulldogs are going to show if they're for real or not, but there's a connection in a Tiger uniform. First and goal for South Carolina State. And Corey Fields to start off this game, feeling the pressure, escapes it here. And it brings it down to near the goal line, but a penalty marker out back at the 15-yard line. Holding offense, number 32. Now, they're playing a very good football team, and they're a young team. They should get better. Corey Fields. Oh, nice oh. catch. Wow. He brought it in. Keyshawn, Tony. How did he catch that one right only where he could haul it in? They're still going hard for their coach. They're still going hard for TC. You hear those chants? Look at that, Chen. TC. TC. fans are letting them know how much they believe in their new head coach. And just giving notice to everybody that it's TC time in his head coaching debut. TC Taylor picks up win number one. The Jackson State alumnus leads his alma mater to a 37 7 victory here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.